Things aren't doing fine today, right? Thank God. Hallelujah. You know, uh, the Bible study today is going to be about really understanding how God does miracles through us and the works that he says that we would do too, the works. As one man wanted to know, asking Jesus, how can we do the works that you do? Jesus said to believe. But I had to go through it and, and get some something to move the confirmation and what wasn't just that he wanted to do the works of God. It was more true than that. I was going to get to it right now. In the word of God, his word is all about the Lord. Is that right? All about the Lord. I kind of wish there was more people here tonight. I don't know what's going on. Everybody looks like it's taking a break or something. But we don't take breaks, do we? Not for the Lord, you know, when we're doing something for the Lord, it's supposed to be obedience, right? And we just do spray for them. We're going to go to uh, uh, John 6, 28, chapter 6, 28 through 29. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, first, bow your heads for a second. Father, I want to thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you, Father. Well, give me another day. I well, strengthen my health, Father. As I open up this afternoon here, Lord God, for the Bible study, the Word of God, Father. Not just understanding the Word, it's understanding who the Word is and what it's about, what it's about you, Lord. As I open up this Bible study, Father, I pray to move by your Spirit, Father, for revelations of the Word of God. As give me the glory and praise, Father. All the glory is yours. In Jesus' name, amen. Going mm -hmm. on this here in John 28 to 29. They said unto him, What shall we do that what shall we do that we might work the works of God? You know, it sounds like this person here was really want to be a godly person, right? Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God that you believe on him who he was, who him he has sent. A lot of us want to go into action right away in a ministry. Oh man, I gotta do this for the Lord. I got, you know, I'm hot for the Lord. You know, you want to do over, over than what you, you what the Lord's expecting. All he wants you to do is believe. Yeah. Believe on the Son. Believe that He came from the Father. But then we get carried away sometimes. You know, a lot of people, they're hot for the Lord. They're burning for the Lord. One not burning out. Yep. And that's the truth. And this man here was asking how he can do the works. But it wasn't really actually that he wanted to do, the, uh, do it for the Lord. It was something that he was desiring. That man wanted to do the works of God was thinking of himself, not God. He was thinking of himself. We need to be in unity as one with the Lord. Whatever happened, whatever happened, ever wonder when sometimes we pray and nothing happens? Right. And not because you don't believe, not because yeah. you don't believe. There's a lot of different reasons. Right. One of them, we not, might not be aligned with the will of God. And if you're not in unity with the Lord, you're not lined up. Many that seek God are puzzled about what we want to do for God. Sometimes we overdo it. And it's not by works. The religion of the world are man's way to answer or try to answer this question but Jesus replied, brief and simple, we must believe on him who God has sent, satisfying that one is sent, satisfying God. We must believe on him who God has sent, that we believe 
the Son of the living God. God does not not come from works that we do. It's not. But sometimes we try so hard and all it's got to do is believe. Believe. On Luke 7, 18, 30, Oh, look, 7, 18, 30. Sorry about that. 7, 18, 30. 7, 18, 30. Yeah. Where am I at? Oh, 7, 29, 30. Sorry about that. I'm going to get the thing all messed up. 7, 29. Where it says, All the people that heard him and the publicans Justify God being baptized with the baptism of John. But the Pharisees and the lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves being not baptized. Did you know the tax collectors, the lawyers actually were like thieves, you know, stealing from them. And the Bible does say that no whole, uh, no adulterers, no murderer, no thief enter the kingdom of heaven. And why is this person baptized and it, it is giving glory to God. And I kept thinking, well, the Bible can't contradict that, but it's not. It's because they believed on the Son of God. They believed. And, and what stopped the Pharisees, they didn't believe. Right. It's our favor, God. And why couldn't, even in the Word of God, it says, if the Pharisees could not do any cast out demons or, or heal the sick, they couldn't do it. Because they were thought of themselves as being in the word that they could do things that God could do and, they, and the glory was to be for them. And it's not. They lost the unity between God and them. It was all about them. It's like the man wanted to do, you know, how can you do the wonders of God? Believe on the Son of God that He came from the Father in unity. John was confused because he re reports, because he reports and, is, and received about Jesus Christ. See, John wanted to know was this the one, Jesus, or was someone else to come? And I read that part right there when I said, wait a minute. It doesn't seem right. <laughs> Can be. And basically, when he was in prison, he was in a dungeon. And those prisons, they see a hole that goes down. I don't know how far down. But there's no windows. They ain't got no bathroom, no toilet paper. They, they don't have, they don't need um, uh, three meals a day. Luckily, they get a meal a week. You know, John the Baptist baptized Jesus, but being in that, doesn't say how long he was in the dungeon and eating when he supposed to eat and whenever they give him something to eat. But he started having a little doubt in him, wanting to know if it was or sure it was him. We ourselves sometimes have difficulties in a, in, in, out here in the world. And we start to wonder are we going to come out of this at all uh, and lose hope? But Jesus didn't give up on him. He did not give up on him. He said he was one of the greatest prophets that ever lived. See, we give up on people. We give up on every. We give up on ourselves too sometimes. On John, 1 John, no, I mean Luke 7, 29, 30. I read that one. Let's go to 1 John 323. 1 John 3.23. This is a commandment that we should believe in the name of the, of the, of the Son Jesus Christ. In the name of the Son of Jesus Christ. And to love one another as a to love one another as he had gave us commandment. Jesus himself. 
because of his love, of his love, was able to do healings and miracles. He was in unity with the Father. In the Bible, a person, person's name stands for his character. It represents who he really is. We are to believe not only in Jesus' words, but also in his very person as a son of God. Not just to believe in the word, but we need to believe that Jesus is the son of God. To believe on the name means to make your life after Christ, after Christ. To become more like him by uniting yourself with him. With him. So when I was doing this, reading this right here, and I was going through it, and I read it, and it got me. Because uh, before I'd never understood that man that wanted to do the works of God. But it was a deeper understanding that I, that I finally understood what Jesus was trying to say. Is that it wasn't like everyone else, like when I was in California too, the pastors wanted the gift I got. And they prayed and prayed and couldn't get it. It wasn't that they wanted to be in unity with God. They just wanted to have that power to do those things. And that leaves you with no power because the unity with God is confirming yourself to Christ and becoming as Christ, as Christ, his thoughts, his mind, his will. As Jesus said, not my will, but your will be done. He's talking to the Father. Can you imagine if Jesus would have said, man, I got all power, I can do all things, right? You think he would have been able to go through the cross and everything else? No. But he, the unity with him and the Father, he expects us to be unity with him, confirming ourselves to Christ, not doing and moving according to what we want or, or things that we believe to do for the Lord that he's done already and do things thinking that, that oh yeah I'm doing this God's seen I'm doing this for him all this and that all he wants us to believe that's it just believe if it was by works we'd be under the law and, the, and by the law you weren't saved but through faith we're saved or Jesus paying the price for us. So we should be in unity with him. You know, I was reading one part here on John. It says, Jesus answered and said to him, do the work of God that you believe on him who has sent him. He said, therefore unto him, what signs thou hast Show us thou then that we may see and believe. What does thou work? See right here, there's doubt. He wants his signs that they could believe. But if you don't believe without seeing a sign, you're never going to be in unity with the Lord. You got to believe. If you have to see a sign to believe, to understand, it's not going to happen. Where it says, Our fathers did eat the man of the desert, and it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. This is a man saying that God gave, that Moses gave them the bread to eat that came from heaven. Jesus said unto them, Very, very, I said unto you, Moses gave you not the bread from heaven, but the Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is which comes down from heaven. And gives life to the world. Now he's speaking of himself. He is a bread of life. He is the one with the power to heal. Has the demons raise the dead. Because he's in unity with the Father. We have to be in unity with Jesus. 
And now what we could do is what he done already. But we need to put ourselves in his will, in your mind, your will be done. Not my will, but your will be done. You know, we got a circumstance someplace out here and something's bring, bringing us down or whatever. We got to take a mind of ourselves and look up on the Lord and says, Lord, your will be done. Even if you got chaos, even if you can, there's no hope. As long as you put in your mind that his will be done. Goes through what can do all things through Christ. It strengthens me because you line yourself in unity with the Lord. When he told a man, because he wanted to, how can he do the works of God? He wasn't really thinking about being in unity with God. It was something for his benefit that he could do. So he missed the whole thing. He missed it. He didn't get it. He's seeing everybody being fed by the manna. He's being fed the fish and the bread and all that when there was nothing. He wants to be able to do that, what? To reward himself. A lot of us pray and we're praying, but yet not understanding. And then we wonder, why is our prayers being answered? You're not in unity with the Lord. You got to understand one thing. It's not by your power, not by power of might, but the Spirit says the Lord. I know I speak a lot about the Holy Spirit. I speak a lot about the Spirit because we got to take our, ourselves out of the picture and allow the Spirit of God that's in you to come out and start moving in front of you, not you in front of the Spirit. In unity. So what I understood when I read this is that we all the same way. Sometimes we get so involved that we think, oh, we're going to do all of this and, and the Lord gonna, is going to be happy and uh, doing it for him and all this. And, and all he wants you to do is be in unity with him. He's not hard to please. But when we start doing things, thinking that we're going to get the Lord's attention, or oh, he's going to reward you big time, because what you did, he can see. He can see that it's all about you right there. It's not about God. Well, sometimes it's better to take a step back instead of going through all that that you think you're doing, because not by works as the law was before. You are by faith. But it's not just faith. It's not by knowing the word. It's by believing. And coming in unity with Christ. We ourselves. Ain't perfect. But we need to deny. Ourselves a lot. One thing about it that I learned is it's bad words. Sometimes you get mad and you might say a bad word. But if you don't feel bad if you said it and you don't repent, then you're not in unity with the Lord. But if you feel like, oh man, I really blew it, and you repent, you're in unity with the Lord. Then you got to know yourself. It's not what you can do. It's what he did already. It's not by works. It's by faith. And when you pray, you will receive because you're in unity with Christ. And we tried too hard. At one time, I remember when I found a ministry and I didn't even notice it, but I was trying harder than everyone at the church. I was leaving early in the morning, I set up this thing in the park to feed the prostitutes uh, to give the word of God to them, the, the homeless, the addicts, the alcoholics, every one of them, thieves, crooks, whatever. And I would pray and lay hands on them and everything else. And after they were fed, I go to church. 
Then the church would be starting to go to church. I was doing that four times a week. And then I was on call to go counsel people back and forth and pray for them. And I thought, what I'm doing for the will of God, I'm going to keep doing it, doing it. I overdid it because even Jesus, he told our disciples, come, come with me that we for to get some rest. So he took them out away from the people to rest. He wasn't for us to completely work, work on the ministry, work on the ministry, and, and, uh, and you think that you're doing everything for the Lord and he's going to bless you and he, and he really gave you the glory. No, that it's not really, it's all about you, what you're doing now. It's not because you believe. Only what you're doing. It's all about you again. And that's simple. You can be derailed really easy right there. I was derailed. And yeah, things were happening. But what happened after that? I got sick. Because I didn't need for four days a week every week. I'll fast for four days a week every week. I'll fast. It brought, supposed to be the temple of God. It brought down to a point where I was lacking vitamins because I was needing and drinking no water, thinking, oh, I'm more in touch with the Spirit. But yet I was doing it thinking I was doing it for the Lord, but I was doing it for myself. So God allowed me to get sick. And then I prayed when I was at the hospital and said, Lord, I'm here doing your work and, and I'm sick. That doesn't make any sense. Give me a message somewhere so I understand what's going on. About five minutes after that, the doctor comes in and says, you need to eat. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> but it wasn't just it. It was like this that God put upon my heart. It says, remember what I did with the apostles? I took them out so they can get rest. We can do the will of God but it's not really the will of God for him, it's for us. And it's very easy to miss that step, as this man was saying, how can we do the wonders of God? We put too much into something, it's not really unity with the Lord, it's about you. Even the apostles, when they were walking on the earth before John the Baptist. It was 400 years before John the Baptist came in the picture. The apostles, not the apostles, but the prophets walking around. Sometimes they had to wait a long, long time. And I'm talking about years. That they weren't doing nothing because they were waiting. But now we got it in our heads that we need to put every every effort to God that we're doing what he wants us to do and then we're just moving before he moves. That's not going to work. We need to allow God to move first, then we. That's the, what I understood when I read this and I prayed. We got to watch it. Got to be careful that it's not ourselves that are trying to do something for ourselves, but but really that you believe that Jesus, Son of God, and you and unity or being in unity with the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. As I said, many seek God. Many that seek God are puzzled for that reason about what we must do for God, but it's really what doing for themselves. The religion of the world are man's way to answer or try to answer these questions. But Jesus replied, is brief and simple. We must believe on him whom God has sent. That God has sent. Believe that God has sent him. God does not come. God doesn't not come from the work we do. God doesn't doesn't manifest for the work we do. Doesn't doesn't reply that way. What it does is, is what 
we unite ourselves with the Lord and believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And sometimes we try too hard and trying too hard doesn't work either. You put a toll on yourself. You, you, you make the word of God impossible to obey it because you're overdoing it. Some people are going to say, no, that's wrong. It's all about the Lord. It's all about the Lord, yes. But you need to let the Lord lead you, not lead God. There be times when, yeah, you're going to be 24-7 and doing the will of God. But there are times when he's having you to the side to rest, rest. Because that's when the, the devil comes in and it makes it uncomfortable for you. It makes you feel like it's hopeless. Why? Because you all wore out. Because everything you're doing ain't working. Because you're not in unity with the Lord. That was my Bible study. I should ask questions, but I got carried away with the Word of God. It's a simple one. But it's not what we could do. That's what He done already. It is not how much effort we put into the ministry, but we need to allow the Lord to move before us. And it gives you a little bit of rest. It's not because you're lazy, because you're waiting upon the Lord. It, don't mistake in either that, oh, you're just gonna kick it until you feel something. No. When you feel you're ready to go, you ready to go. But don't overdo it. Bless you. Praise God. Hallelujah. That was my uh, Bible study. I hope you guys understood it. Praise God. It's all about him and it's not about us and let him move first and then we follow because we're supposed to be the sheep. We're not the shepherd. He's a shepherd. And if we start moving before he does, making ourselves a shepherd, are we supposed to be following Jesus? Praise God. Hallelujah. Anyway, thank God that we're here today and I don't record the Bible study, but I did this time because I'm going to put it off because it's a lot of members not here. And what I'm going to say is that all the people that will hear this, you know, Bible study, remember, we have to put an effort to God. And I'm not saying stay home like everybody else stayed home here and a few people here today. No. Because sometimes people stay home because they there's triple, I'm trying to do more and more of the Lord and they get tired and they get burned out. It's not about you being first, it's about God. It's about unity with the Lord. But we do have to be in church. What, Wednesdays and Sundays? I don't think that's too much to us. You know, one day we'll be facing face to face with the Lord and I don't want to be one of the persons going to say, well, Lord, uh, my foot hurt it. Oh, Lord, uh, uh, I forgot. Because then, if you forgot them, you, you're not in unity with the Lord. And if you're allowing yourself, again, it's about you. That's why you're staying home. Then you, you're not in unity with the Lord. Amen. You're going to pray, nothing's going to happen. This is for everybody's benefit. Because we need God more today than we did before. There's a lot of things happening. So let's come with unity with the Lord. And make the little effort. I say, oh, gone home, but a little bit of effort to the Lord, that he'll draw you to him. Then your desire is to be here, to listen to the word, praise God, give him the glory. Amen. Amen. Amen.